Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Grip and Rip Sports Cards back here with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Walmart sports cards and a change that I saw today that is definitely worth talking about because, man, why did I see this? I mean, I'm I'm pretty shocked, not going to lie. So before we talk about that, though, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Let's get 100 likes. 100 likes is the minimum like goal for this video. Let's get that done. That's the best way you can help me grow this channel. Speaking of growing the channel, we're doing a giveaway. At 8,000 subscribers, we're giving away hobby packs of baseball cards. Of what set? No idea. It just depends. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last but not least, leave a comment in the comments on what you're looking forward to this baseball season in 2024, and I'll pick the winner once we hit 8,000 subscribers. So there is that. Should not be too long from now. We're, I think, about 140. 50, 60 off, so should not be a long time from now at all, right? So there's that. And of course, I am sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official market for MLB tickets. That is right. And for first time purchasers, you could use my code Grip and Rip. That is right, Grip and Rip, my name, to save yourself $20 on your first SeatGeek purchase. My code only works. If you've never bought off SeatGeek before, and you could use my code and save yourself 20 bucks. I think that's a great deal. You know, you go to a baseball game, you can get tickets for like 40, 50 bucks. Use that, use that code. You're going to a baseball game, minus, of course, parking and things like that. For like 20 bucks. That's not bad at all. So get in on the action today. Use my code GRIP and RIP and save $20. And I'll do you one better. If you use my code, let me know in the comments. I'll shout you out. I'll shout out your YouTube channel. If you want to do that, there you go. So there's that. So let's get into the topic at hand in today's video, which is a Walmart sports card. So I, I kind of find it funny. We were just talking about Target not too long ago, probably a couple days ago. Now we're talking about Walmart sports cards and a change I saw literally in front of my very eyes, which I was kind of surprised to, to see. You see, so, of course, Target, we did talk about, and that change was basically, you know, depending on how well or bad your sports cards sell at Walmart, or I should say, I should say Target, um, they were either shrinking or expanding the section, or I guess some people are, they're having theirs just be the same. So, um, that obviously, it just depends on your market and your area and your cards and how well or bad they sell. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to a Target today. I'm almost guaranteeing you if I go into that Target, I'm if they if they have remodeled the, the section, because that's when this takes place, um, I can tell you right now, I can guarantee you my sports card section is going to be very small. I'll tell you right now, cards in my area just do not sell. The first wave of like the cards, like of like uh, release week, they sell, um, but after that, not much at all. And it is what it is, you know. We can go into a million different reasons why, of why that is. So either way, of course, went to my local Walmart today, um, you know, to pick up some stuff, look at the toy aisle, you name it, right? And of course, the card aisle is literally the first thing when you walk right into the store. Cards are right there for you to see. I noticed the restock. I know it's the restock because, of course, the top row of the shelf, you can see all the boxes lined up from right when you walk into the store on the right-hand side. You can see them right there, right? I was like, huh, got a restock. And actually, I wasn't even looking for Topps baseball cards today. I was actually looking for the Upper Deck Hockey Series 2 for Connor Bedard. I think I said his name right. Rookie cards, of course, in that set. Of course, I am a hockey fan. Uh, I love my Penguins, although the Penguins haven't done too well this year. Um, but either way, I don't really collect hockey, but I was like, okay, everyone's hyping up you know, Connor Bedard. I think that's his name. I could be wrong. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll try a hockey. I'll try a hockey. I'll try a blaster box. Although I will say, for all you hockey collectors, is it true they, they raised the price? 
I saw a lot of card people on Twitter upset this week because they apparently like changed blaster boxes to 40 and like um tins to like 90 or something. So whoever's a hockey card fan, let me know in the comments. Is that actually true? Because man, if that's actually true, again, don't cover upper deck um hockey. I I'm a hockey fan, but obviously I don't cover it. Um clearly Connor Bedard, if his name if that's his last name, is um the number one most valuable in that product, obviously. Um I think they're called young guns or something or whatever. Um, but either way, I was looking for that today. To my chagrin, no hockey at all. Fresh restock, vendor looked like he was just there, nothing, right? Looked at the tags on the shelf, nothing, right? I noticed something pretty, pretty shocking, pretty shocking to say the least, when I looked at the card aisle. So that top shelf I just told you about, what if I told you? The other three or four shelves in the section were completely, and I mean completely, filled with Pokemon cards. What if I told you my sports card section at Walmart is now reduced to a singular shelf? All the other shelves are Pokemon. Clearly... I am not a Pokemon collector. I could tell you Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and I think Charmander, and that is it. A lot of you Pokemon fans watching this video might be thinking, well, this dude sucks naming Pokemon. Well, that's quite frankly because I couldn't tell you a single Pokemon out there, right? I never grew up on Pokemon. My friends all did. Um, but not, not me. I just, that wasn't me, right? Um, I was more of a Topps Attacks kid. So if you know Topps Attacks, for all the OGs out there, I was more of a Topps Attacks kid rather than a Pokemon kid. But uh, either way, um, yeah, pretty surprising. Pretty surprising to say the least. Now, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Why was my Walmart about 80% Pokemon 10% sports cards, which, by the way, if you're wondering what Series 1 was stocked, three measly blaster boxes of Series 1, still no hanger boxes. I was actually contemplating on buying more, because I only have one left, I think, which we'll open in this video. I only had one more. So I was like, okay, let's buy some more, maybe, right? Maybe buy a Super Box, which some Walmarts and Targets are getting in. Mine did not. My Walmart had three measly series one blaster boxes and that was it so let's talk about it why is my walmart more focused i guess you could say on pokemon cards rather now sports cards and yes for all you guys wondering the pokemon section in the toy aisle because a lot of you guys don't even know this was filled to the gills as well so in case you guys didn't know the, the vendor um also stocks the Pokemon card aisle in the toy aisle as well. Um, so, you know, if you ever see a card guy in the toy aisle, that's why, right? Um, so, let's get to it. Let's answer the question. Why are there more Pokemon cards? Well, to put it bluntly, Pokemon sells better at my Walmart than sports cards. I can tell you that right now. Um, Pokemon for, seems like, forever. Up until 2020, of course. 2020 was when this whole card craze started in my Walmart. Because um, up until then, I could go to my Walmart anytime, any day of the week, and find literally anything on the shelf at any given time. No questions asked, right? And when 2020 happened, the whole card craze, the whole card market, boom, whatever you want to call it. That's when my Walmart just got completely just raided, I guess, of all of the cards in the sh on the shelf. There were people from my friend who works there um, said when, you know, that was happening, they were lining up outside the store at 6 in the morning when Walmart opens its doors to get cards, which is insane. If you're one of those people who did that, I mean, I don't want to say get a life, but like, huh, that's... uh. Pretty bad. Pretty bad look, to say the least. So, so luckily, 
I was not one of those guys waiting outside at 6 in the morning for baseball cards. I always bought my stuff online or in a card store um, during that time period where cards were so hard to find. Um, I just uh, didn't buy them. I didn't buy them in stores. I never found them, actually, because, again, I wasn't waking up at 6 in the morning to wait in line at Meyer where they posted the freaking uh, sign on the door or Target where you had to pick a freaking ticket and get, like, raffled and guess, I guess, get, just get lucky to go in the front of the line. So stupid. So stupid. Because I just didn't believe in that. I just didn't believe in it. People were fighting. You know, if you remember, Target actually took all their cards away for a given time because someone brought a weapon to a freaking Target parking lot over Prism basketball at the time. Absolute freaking mess, right? But um, either way, I don't know if this is going to affect all Walmarts. Admittedly, I don't. Um, I am going to go to a Walmart or two today. We will see um, if that is the case in these other Walmarts. I don't think it will be, but again, you never know. Um, but either way, um, Pokemon obviously is selling more at my Walmart than sports cards. And I guess the people making the executive decisions in the store... They get reports, you know, they get reports, they get data, they see everything that sells, everything that doesn't sell, you name it, they see it. And with sports cards, no different. They're probably seeing that, you know, sports cards or sales are down by maybe, you know, 30-40%. Pokemon sales are up maybe 15-20%. to 20%. So what do they do? They, when they put their orders in for, um, you know, product, because that's what they do, stores have... Um, a specific like person who like orders product. I, my friend is that person at my Walmart and, or why I should say one of a couple people, cause he's not the only one in that area who does that. Um, but people like, you know, for example, uh, prime, we'll use prime for example, because prime right now, believe it or not, if you are paying attention to the hydration drink world is outselling Walmart, or I shouldn't say Walmart, outselling Gatorade at Walmart and Target by a huge margin. For the first time ever, Gatorade, or at least a long time, I don't know the exact year they said, but for the first time in years, I'm talking decades, Gatorade is not the number one hydration drink at Walmart right now. And, you know, Walmart looking at that saying, oh my gosh, Prime is outselling Gatorade. We need to buy more Prime to order more Prime or whatever uh, liquidation or whatever allocation to get in our stores. Which, funny enough, the new strawberry banana flavor at, I saw today, pallets of it. Pallets upon pallets of it at my local Walmart. Why? It sells, you order more. That's how it works. Same thing is applied with sports cards and Pokemon cards. And whatever cards are out there. Sure, your Walmart will get the newest cards like Series 1. Like a big league, which comes out, by the way, retail-wise, April 1st. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But uh, I think, from the looks of it, um, big league retail may have gotten delayed. Or actually, big league in general may have gotten delayed. I don't know. I saw it today on Fanatics.com. It said April 1st, which I don't know. I don't think that's the case, but I'll look into it, right? I'll look into it, definitely. Um, but either way, to wrap this video up here, you know, your Walmart will get the newest stuff, you know, like mine. Three Blasters of Series 1. Why they only get three Blasters of Series 1? Because, to put it bluntly, Series 1 and baseball cards do not sell at my Walmart unless you're called a Bowman or unless you're called a Chrome. That's just the reality of it. So I am crossing my fingers getting to that comment actually I just made. <laughs> I hope they stock more than three blasters of Chrome and Bowman when they when those two sets come out. Because man, if that is the case, clearly I could probably get any blaster box I want of those online. But still, I don't really want to pay for shipping or I don't want to wait for product either. So um, the, the point of that is, you know, I'd rather go buy them at my Walmart. But um, either way... It sucks. It sucks that my Walmart is going to cater more to Pokemon. I should have taken a picture. I should have. But there was like four other guys looking at it um, when I when I walked in. So I think the vendor literally just left as I walked into the store. Because 
there was guys must have been waiting. Um, I assume they were waiting for the hockey stuff. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, but I saw a lot of people this week talking about this new hockey release. So I think that's what they were waiting for. I'm just taking a guess on that. Um, because there's really nothing else to wait for in line. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to take a guess on that. So, either way, that is all I got for you. That is all I got for you in this video. I guess this video is just a little, I guess, life update and retail, local retail sports card update. I don't know. You guys may see this in your store. I have no idea. But I'll tell you, when I walked into my Walmart today and saw 80% of the restock was Pokemon, and all the shelves were filled with Pokemon, like big boxes, little packs, medium boxes. I don't even know what they're called. Trainer boxes, I think that's what they're called. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I was actually pretty surprised. I would have taken a picture of it, but again, there was like three or four different guys in the, in the section when I was there, so... Um, I think the vendor literally walked out as I walked in, so that's why that was probably like that. The stock was brand new. The stock was not even touched at all when I got there, um, so it is what it is, right? So either way, that's all I got for you. So now we are going to open maybe two packs, but definitely the last hanger box of my Series 1 stock. Um, you know, I will say Series 1, I mean, the set itself is great, but I'll tell you this. Uh, the luck this year I had for Series 1, ah, just not not it. I don't know. I don't know. My brother pulled a home field advantage out of a pack of this uh, at the same restock where I bought these from. Um, but other than that, that was literally it. So we have a pack here. Uh, I'm going to try to look through the... Uh, we might have a retail blue, maybe. I think I see a rainbow foil. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. Of course, we have two yellows and whatnot. Um, speaking of exclusive, like, color parallels, I do believe the Meyer purples are starting to surface online. So if you have a Meyer near you, I'm just going to flip through these base cards because, honestly, I mean, it is what it is. I don't even have room to even fit my hand on the screen no more. If you would see the stack of base cards I got near me, like, I can't even fit my hand in the screen no more because it's just, there's just so many. Hold on. Let me, let me readjust my tripod here for a second. Let me try to make this a little easier on me. You see that big stack of base cards? Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Is what Eric Jason Dominguez. That's one you want to get. Encarnacion Strand. That's a good one. Uh, speaking of the, the Reds, how about Noel V. Marte, man? And Noel V. Marte. A Series 2 rookie who is going to be in a Series 2, 80-game suspension. 80-game suspension. I don't know, man. His card market, Johnny DeLuca, that's a good one. Card market, I don't know. There's our blue. Yandy Diaz, blue. We have a silver foil, <coughs> Logan Allen. We have a J-Rod, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll take that, I guess. That's pretty cool. We have a Marcy, uh, Mauricio Dubon, eh, not the one you want to get, and Ichiro. That's pretty cool. And yeah, so it looks like no numbered parallel in this at all. So, and we have a, a blueprint of, who is that? Goldschmidt. And we have Chisholm, Armstrong, Mookie Betts, and Corbett Carroll. Literally the eighth, probably the eighth, uh, Jazz, I literally have. I kid you not. Like, actually, like, I'm not even joking when I say it. And Andrew Abbott, that's a good one to have as well. So, we'll open one more pack. We will open one more pack in this video, which will be a monster box pack. I think we have, like, I don't even know how many packs we have left of this. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six after this. Um, you know, eh. I wouldn't say my luck has been bad with this. But that's been, it's been all right. I mean, I'm not going to say it's been great. But uh, clearly, after I hit my Ellie uh, Teal, I hit an Ellie Teal out of my Fanatics box. Uh, at least out of the one of them. What is that? That looks new. Huh. What is that? Is that an autograph? No way that's an autograph, right? No way that's an autograph, right? 
Is it? Is it? I don't think it is, but let's see. So we have two backwards cards, which I'll go. I'll just do this first. Okay, base cards, whatever. Um, We have a Star of the MLB. Let's see what these are. I have never seen this card back before. So there's Jordan Lawler. Um, we might have an autograph here. I, I don't know. I have never seen... I have never seen this card back before. I could be completely tripping. Um... I think this might be a Stars... Hold on. We'll leave that right here for a second. I'll tell you if this is an autograph or not. Because guess what? I have an Andy Rodriguez autograph with that... With, I think, that background. So let's see here. Where would it be? Never mind. Um, That's... Okay, never mind. So we might actually not have an autograph. Because this is what I thought I was alluding to. But uh, I, I don't know. Let's see. Whatever. We'll just open it. I'm hyping up the suspense, man. Um, I know for a fact we have a shimmer. Oh, just one of those. Okay, so we might actually I don't I don't even know what I'm looking at there. So let's see here. We have a oh that's bright. Randy Rosarena. That's a bright ass card. Holy crap. That yellow there caught me right in the eye as soon as I opened it, like blinded me. Alright, what is this? We'll just do a we'll just do this. What is this? Mega? Stars, hmm, what is this? I have never seen this before. So, I will propose the question to you guys. Huh. What is, I don't even know what this is, dude. I have no idea what this is. So, for anybody in the comment section, do you know possibly what this is? It's a rainbow foil stars 2024. Hold on. Let me let me check the box real quick. It might actually say, I think this might be like a exclusive. Oh yeah, look, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Look for exclusive tops stars inserts. Yeah, okay. Um, it says around the side of the box, so. I assume that is what that is. I don't know how rare those are. Obviously, there's no <laughs> there's no odds on the box no more, so I couldn't tell you. So, um, yeah. So anybody in the comment section, let me know how rare this is. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Um, I'll take it. Is it like one per box or something? I don't know. But either way, I'm getting out of here. I'm tired. I'm sweating. It's so hot in Western Pennsylvania now. It's ridiculous. But either way, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.